Hey everybody and welcome to another Bookshelf Tuesday. Today it's time for my German books. I don't have as many German books as I have English books, so don't be surprised. As you can see, I don't have that many German books. I only have two shelves. Reasons for that are for one part that during school I lived off our school library and the books from my brother. And most of these books are translations from other languages into German. So that's why I started reading English books all the time, because if I can read it, why read a translation? So let's have a closer look at the kind of books I have. Chingis Eidmatov, I have three stories of his. He's a Russian writer and I really like Jamelia. It's a love story and I really like that one. Then we have some short stories, fantasy from Robert Asprin, Paul Auster. I got that as a present, that's why it's in German. I got a really nice old book. This is a really nice old edition of a German book. This is one of my favorite stories as a kid. And some Annette Blyton and some children's stories. Honey and Nanny. I tried reading Don Quixote, but it didn't work out. I really like the story about Helen Keller, and I showed you one of my teenage favorite books already, Aisha. This is a book of another short stories, The Count of Monte Cristo. This is a German writer, Michael Ende, he wrote The Neverending Story, and I really like this book. Then we have Effie Breeze, the classic, Jonathan Franzen. I really like the corrections, but I couldn't do anything with the 27th Street. Hannah's Daughters by Marianne Friedrichson is a translation from Swedish and it's really interesting. Another German classic. Sophie's World, a philosophical book by Jules Steingartner, really interesting. I didn't like the orange girl or the girl with the oranges, whatever that would be in English. Gabriel Garcia Marquez, I really like the Love and Times of Cholera. This is another German one, it's a book only in emails. Another old book. Some books I had to school, read at school. This is actually the only German book I read this year and it was a road novel and it started off good but it didn't finish well. So I was a little bit disappointed by the ending. Then we have some Hermann Hesse, classic German author, fantasy Indiana Jones. I actually never read this one. A French author, Michel Ullebach. It's a crass book. This is from school. This is a German author I really, really don't like. Hermann Krauser. That was a little bit disgusting, this book. I didn't see a story. Uh, some classic. Primo Levi. I'm not even sure if that is German. Another old book. It's a play. Ooh. Eric the Viking. I think it's a book two movie. I have Peter Pan in German. Thomas Mann is one of the authors I really don't like. German author. I do have an edition of Gone with the Wind in German, but I didn't read it. Well, I started it, but I couldn't finish. It was awful. Haruki Murakami, a Japanese or Chinese author that I really don't like. Those are like school learning books. Half English, half German. It's good for school. This is part of the 80s. Uh, we're all going to die in an atomic blast literature. Die Wolke, classic one. Children's books, children's books. Some Terry Pratchett. Robert Rankin fantasies. Rainer Maria Rilke. He's a German poet. Tom Robbins, a translation from English. This is actually one a book I really liked as a child. You, there was a bet going on how many worms they could eat over a week or so. It was kind of funny how they prepared the worms. Sven Regner actually is a German author that I really like and oh, I think he has a new book, so I have to see him buy that one for this year. He writes in a special style and I really like that. Cyrano de Bergerac, French translation. This one looked nice from the cover. I thought it was strange. It was a book about the parents, but not a nice book. Another school book. Another book from the 80s about the atomic catastrophes. Schlafes Bruder. Another German author. This book was really good, but his second one was so weird that I gave it away. Another classic book. Some more translations. More translations. 
translations, short stories. Another German author I really like, it's Uwe Tim. He has written some great books. War and Peace, I started it for 200 pages and then I had to stop, so maybe I'll read it to the end one day. Translation of a crime story, children's books, children's books, books for school, and a lot of those German classics. I claim for school, more school books and children's books. This one is Carlos Ruiz Safon, who everybody seems to like, and I just started this book and I was so bored, couldn't even finish it. So those were all my German books. I know it looked a little bit different today than all the other Tuesdays, but I didn't want to bore you with too many details about the books that I hardly remember and are mainly children's books anyways. So thank you all for watching all these Bookshelf Tuesdays with me, and I hope you enjoyed them. And I'll see you on Friday for a book review. Bye-bye.